Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Frostpunk and the Arcs. So, I just finished my playthrough of the Refugees DLC, and it was damn interesting to say the least. And now we are on day, what are we, 19 of the Arcs, and we have to protect our seedlings. So, let's lock and roll and see how we do. Genuinely, I'm not sure if I'm going to manage to achieve this one. I'm genuinely not sure. I think it's a it's a lot less um, micromanagey, I think, than uh, than what the refugees was, because that was just a chaos mess. Um, but we need to. Oh yeah, we need to try and help New Manchester, and we need to make some automatons, but they are so expensive. They are so expensive. 95 steel, 95 wood, 47 coal, and a steam core. We have no steam cores. Are they coming back with steam cores? I can't remember. They're coming back with one. And I forget how many automatons we have. We have three. And we need five. We can build one more, and then we need one more steam core. Ouchie. Right, those are heating up again, so that's fine. Nothing found. God damn it. That might have one. Right, go to those and then come back. There's the, uh, the big freeze is coming. It's on its way. Uh, right, you can come off of that because we don't actually have any... Actually, we've got loads of food, so don't worry about it. For now, do not worry about it for now. So, what's the medical outpost doing? Okay, people are being rescued from their medical ailments. Uh, what do we actually need? <laughs> Is a very good question. What do we actually need? We need. We're going to need about 200 steel, which we have. We're going to need about 200 wood, which we don't have. We're going to need a lot of coal, which we do have. Okay, so we need some more wood. Actually, do you want to put the automation on that? We might as well. That's why they're there. Um, Night is coming. Put down your tools. Yeah, there's literally nothing I can do. You're already in bunkhouses. You've already got heating. Actually, I suppose we can put an automaton on that as well. See if we can actually... Um, see if we can actually reach this new Manchester target. I mean, I'll take it. While disassembling the wreck to salvage what we could from it, we found a hidden cache of supplies. Nice. Yeah, they're starting to freeze. Okay, hopefully you can get back to us before... Uh, before we have any issues. I think I genuinely might do that, because I think we'll probably need it. That would be... Not sure we actually need that, to be honest with you. Genuinely not sure we actually need that. Right, so... I'm going to go for the tactic of making as much food as I possibly can. And then have a heated up cookhouse. That we can make food while everything else is frozen. Work time. Get That's going to be my target. Steam cores, yes! This dreadnought would have carried hundreds of people. It must have belonged to the systems of New Manchester. It broke beyond repair. Three! Oh my god. Get your asses back to the city right now. You're going to arrive before the big three, so that's fine. And we just need to stock up on resources to build the water maintenance that we need. Nice. That's really, really cool. Okay, so we, we've solved that issue. Now we need to move on to the next issue, which is going to be... Uh, 
Okay, we have enough wood. So go and automate the second steelworks. No, we need 600, don't we? Balls. We need 600. Sorry. Go and make more. <laughs> go and make more. Right, close that down. Save coal. Put them on there. And then as soon as he gets back, we can start making more. We can make all the automatons that we need. Uh, did we need to build a coal mine which uses a steam core? Okay, so then we'll be fine. Okay, nice. That all works out just fine. Ooh, four steam cores. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, I might actually disband you. Actually, you're not that expensive. Um, yeah, I'll leave it alone. Uh, right, that's that solved. So go and make, go and make that. That's fine. And now, go and make our automatons. I think we need two, don't we? Yeah, we need two. And we can build our coal mine. Wherever, where's the coal? There it is. To get our second coal used automaton. Nice. Work day ends. Get the time off. Yeah, well, there's nothing I can bloody do about that, is there? There's literally nothing I can do about that. You have bunk houses already. I'm researching that. I can't do insulation until I get there. Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I literally can't do anything about it. I suppose I can, I can, I'll research a heater for you. How's that? I'll research a heater for you. You want to take out some of your anger? Do it in there. Go and take out your anger there. Nice. Go and put it on that. We just need one more, don't we? And then we're done. Oh no, we don't. We don't, 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 we don't. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. Yes! Haha! The city is autonomous! Excellent work. The seedling arcs are now being safely maintained by the autonomous automatons all critical operations are secure we still have time to spare before the storm hits if you'd like a shot at surviving we have to if we'd like a shot at surviving we have to gather as many supplies as we can yes we do indeed we can actually let's build another automaton because then we can send the resources to new manchester we can help them out a bit we might not be able to help them out completely but we can help them out a bit at least Build five houses, five remaining. Disband all expeditions. Oh, I can do that right now. Gather coal, 8,000. Gather food rations, 500. Jeez. Okay, well, we will have them working during the night and then during the day I'm going to put people on. I was actually more efficient with the automation on. Jeez, okay, that's a thing. No, because we'll get people injured. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. You're all scientists, you know how this stuff works. So a man a messenger from New Hampshire wants to talk to you. The clock is ticking and you're doing nothing to help you, Manchester. I'm begging you. Please don't let our people die. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. But I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make enough resources quickly enough to help them out. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm actually going to be able to do that. Mostly because of the steel requirements. Search the steam hubs for you, and then I will do that. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm not sure I'm going to be able to help you, Manchester. I don't think we can make the steel quick enough. Not sure. I don't think the um, the. The wood shouldn't be a problem. It's the steel. It's the steel that's an issue. Oh, so we don't actually need that one. Okay. Noted. Right. Actually, no. Cancel that. That's 2.6. Of course I've said it at the wrong time of bloody day, haven't I? I'm confused. Maintain it. Oh, that's what it means. <laughs> okay, and we need to upgrade the. Yeah, we need to upgrade that because the temperature is going to drop, and I'm probably going to fail that. <laughs> I'm probably going to fail it. Yeah, sorry, I don't think we're going to be able to help New Manchester. It's just we can't. We can't create the wood fast enough. Sorry. I genuinely wish I could. I genuinely wish I could, but we can't create the steel farm. We can't. Yeah, it's getting too cold. Cold is coming. Can't create the wood fast enough. I'm sorry. Oh my jeez, that's not good. Okay. Uh, can we get around that by we'll build one to find out? If it, gets, if it gets around the problem, then we'll build more. It does. Oh, you genius. We're probably going to have to build more because it's going to get colder. Nice. It's still chilly. Wow. No. Okay, no. Keep on that. Keep on that mode then. It doesn't actually make any difference. <laughs> It doesn't actually make any difference whatsoever. Let's go for mode number three. Uh, food rations. We need to stockpile. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Nope, can't do it. It's too cold. Literally nothing I can do. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I think we're all good. Oh, did I not? Oh, whoops, my bad. I didn't build a heater in front of that one. Oh, oh, crap. Get going. Time to earn your bread. And the advanced heaters are hopefully going to kick in before they all freeze. Oh, I might lose that one. Nope, I'm not. Yes. <laughs> They're thawing out. Yes. Good job. Night is coming. Put down your tools. Can't do it. Sorry. Uh, what we do need to do though is hot house insulation. We need a few more. We need a few more rations, I'm afraid. Deal is full. Right, you can come off with that then, you, so the automatons don't use up fuel. Oh, crap. This is not going well. Come on. We need the uh, insulation. There we go. God damn it. It was the food, wasn't it? It was either the food or the wood. I have to look on the recording. It was either the food or it was the wood that we missed. Oh, we came so close. So damn close. Our people all shivers as the storm hits the city. The automation shrug it off, but we don't have enough supplies to last through the storm. We're not dead yet. Just a question of time. Couldn't imagine how hard this hell of a winter will be on us and others. We didn't send supplies to New Manchester and they will never last a storm without them. They will die in vain. It's all irrelevant now. Whoever finds this log, Godspeed and forgive us. Damn it. 
Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, we nearly made it. Anyway, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. And I will see you in the rest of the Frostpunk DLC because I think we still have three more to go before we finish the whole game and hopefully before Frostpunk 2 comes out.